Hey there pirates, welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. Although One Piece is in its final arc, the Straw Hats still have a lot of potential for evolution, especially in their abilities that will make them even more powerful. Nami, as one of the main pirates of this crew, will gain great power through Vegapunk after successfully completing her mission to keep the scientists safe from the hands of the Navy and Sakai Seifu. In today's video, we will talk about the significant evolution in Nami's abilities after the Egghead arc and how this evolution could enable her to face powerful enemies. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to smash that like button, give us a thumbs up to unlock your devil fruit powers, and hit that subscribe button to awaken. Now, let's jump into the video. Folks, on the verge of the epic conclusion of One Piece, the Straw Hats are determined to strengthen their abilities to face the most formidable adversaries that will cross their path. Throughout the Wano arc, we witnessed notable advancements in the skills of some Mugiwaras. However, other crew members did not experience as significant development as those characters mentioned earlier, signaling the possibility of substantial skill evolution during this arc under the influence of Vegapunk. In today's video, we will explore the perspective of Nami further enhancing her abilities with the assistance of Vegapunk and his inventions. We will analyze how this could unfold and why Vegapunk would be willing to assist them in this current arc we finally come across the enigmatic scientist Vegapunk. Throughout the story, only references to him were made, keeping his identity and hidden objectives, giving him an aura of mystery. Now that the Mugiwaras have found him, it became clear that Vegapunk is not an evil figure and does not entirely serve the interests of Sakai Seifu. In fact, Vegapunk sought resources to achieve his own goals. These goals include global unification, sharing all his knowledge with humanity, and providing resources, such as unlimited energy, for the benefit of all. Thus, by aligning with the Mugiwaras, Vegapunk can find an opportunity to achieve his goals and, at the same time, contribute to the strengthening of the crew on their final journey. In the brief chapters in which Vegapunk was revealed, we could witness a variety of creations, both failed and successful, conceived by him and his punks, endowed with the same level of intelligence and knowledge as the scientist. Among his notable creations, Vegapunk developed a lightsaber, although its utility was hindered by attracting unwanted attention. Additionally, he created mechanical sea monsters with significant destructive power. A notable example is the Vegaforce Zero One, an imposing robot with incredible physical strength, flight capability, and inspired by a creation from the empty century hidden in Egghead. Vegapunk is also responsible for a series of impressive combat and utility tools. Given his status as a scientist and his expertise in creating combat tools, there is a great opportunity for Vegapunk to assist the Straw Hats, especially Nami, in further strengthening themselves. In this context, it is plausible that Vegapunk contributes to expanding Nami's abilities, especially in the manipulation of lightning and storms using her climb attack and Zeus, now definitively linked to Nami. During the Wano arc, we witnessed the fusion of Zeus with Nami's climb attack, enhancing their capabilities in storm and lightning manipulation, making them a formidable duo. Given Vegapunk's expertise in technology and genetic alteration through Devil Fruits, he could potentially enhance Nami's combat tool, making it even more powerful. Considering Vegapunk's achievements, such as granting an elephant Zoan powers to a sword and even conferring dog abilities to a cannon, it is plausible that he knows how to further enhance the capabilities of Zeus and Nami, providing a substantial boost to the crew. The possibility of Zeus remaining confined in Nami's climb attack raises the need for Vegapunk to make substantial modifications to the weapon, ensuring that its essence remains while the equipment strengthens. Through these modifications, Nami could store a considerably larger number of black orbs in the climb attack, thus expanding the capacity to feed Zeus. This enhancement would allow Zeus's sorcery climb attack to form even more imposing clouds, providing a lightning storm as vast and aggressive as the abilities used by Enel, but now channeled through Zeus. The Climb attack modified by Vegapunk could give Zeus greater autonomy in using its abilities, even without possessing an independent physical body. This would allow Zeus to control the climb attack on its own, moving to desired locations and changing the form of the sorcery climb attack to its original configuration without relying exclusively on Nami's commands. This freedom of movement would allow Zeus to autonomously attack adversaries if Nami were disarmed of the sorcery climb attack. Furthermore, this capability would offer the unique opportunity for 
Nami to use Zeus as a mount, replicating the dynamic that Big Mom maintained with her charismatic ally. Faced with these possibilities, it is evident that Vegapunk's intervention would be crucial to significantly enhance the technology of the Mugiwaras. These improvements would not only elevate their combat tools to a new level, but also broaden their combat styles, making them truly competent for prominent roles in the crew of the next Pirate King. After the Egghead arc, in which Vegapunk played a fundamental role in optimizing Nami's climb attack, a fascinating range of possibilities opens up for the evolution of the Mugiwara's navigator. Further enhancing the symbiosis between Nami and Zeus, Vegapunk could develop new functionalities for the climb attack, expanding the navigator's skill set. One perspective could involve incorporating more sophisticated atmospheric manipulation capabilities, allowing Nami not only to summon storms, but also to precisely control the direction of the wind. Moreover, Vegapunk could introduce a climate adaptation function to the climb attack, enabling Nami to adjust meteorological conditions according to the environment she finds herself in. This capability would be particularly useful in extreme scenarios, such as scorching deserts or glacial regions, providing the crew with a unique strategic advantage. Another potential evolution would be the implementation of an enhanced interface between Nami and Zeus, allowing more intuitive and strategic communication during battles. This would enable more effective coordination between the navigator and her electric ally, enhancing their capabilities in complex combat situations. Vegapunk, with his expertise in genetic alteration and advanced technology, could further explore the potential of Zeus, providing improvements in terms of power and control over electrical discharges. These enhancements would not only reinforce Nami's offensive capabilities, but also expand tactical possibilities during confrontations. Considering Vegapunk's track record of creating extraordinary innovations, it is safe to say that the planned evolutions for Nami after the Egghead arc will be truly revolutionary. These improvements will not only showcase Vegapunk's technical mastery, but also solidify Nami as a formidable and versatile force within the Mugiwara's crew. Vegapunk, renowned for his scientific feats, could introduce innovative features, such as the ability to concentrate Zeus's electrical energies into more precise and devastating attacks. This would allow Nami to explore the full potential of her electric ally in crucial moments, surprising opponents, and further strengthening the crew's arsenal. Furthermore, Vegapunk could develop an enhanced defense system for Nami, integrating advanced technologies into the climb attack to provide additional protection during confrontations. This defensive layer, combined with her ability to control the weather, would make Nami an even more formidable strategist, capable of facing enemies of different natures with enhanced effectiveness. The collaboration between Nami and Vegapunk might also result in an enhancement of the Mugiwara's navigation capability. The scientists could incorporate cutting-edge technologies into the climb attack, turning it into an improved compass, or even a mapping device to facilitate navigation in the Grand Line. The possibilities are vast and intriguing, and Vegapunk, with his innovative vision, could even explore the fusion of science and hockey, providing Nami with a deeper and enhanced understanding of this ability. This would not only strengthen her presence in battles, but also solidify her role as an essential piece in the pirate chessboard. The legacy of innovation that Vegapunk brings to the Mugawaras extends beyond improvements to Nami's climb attack. Over time, the contributions of the renowned scientist will become increasingly evident, shaping not only the crew's arsenal, but also the path towards the pursuit of the title of Pirate King. Furthermore, Vegapunk could dedicate his scientific genius to creating new artifacts for other crew members, enhancing their individual abilities. Finally, Vegapunk could play a crucial role in expanding the Mugiwara's scientific knowledge, allowing them to decipher and better understand the mysteries of the new world. His presence in the crew would not only boost combat strength, but also open new perspectives for future challenges. Thus, in this final saga of One Piece, Vegapunk may be responsible for completely transforming Nami's power, enabling her to have a variety of possibilities and an incredible increase in her abilities and Zeus's powers, making this duo powerful and feared worldwide. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.